Good day, learners. Our subject for today is Mathematics 5 for Quarter 4, Week 4. Yes. Routine and non-routine problems involving volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. For the most essential learning competencies, solves routine and non-routine problems involving volume of a cube and rectangular prism in real-life situations using appropriate strategies and tools. For the introduction, in your previous lesson, you have learned the formula of the volume of a cube and a rectangular prism. As a learner, you are expected to solve routine and non-routine problems involving volume of a cube and rectangular prism in real-life situations using appropriate strategies and tools. Let us now review our past lesson. Find the volume of the following. So we have the first figure. In finding the volume of the figure, we will be using the formula V is equals to L times W times H, which stands for the length times width times height. And let us now substitute. The length is 2 cm times 5 cm to width and the height is 12 cm. Then, let us multiply 2 times 5 times 12. That will give us a volume of 120 cubic centimeters. Next figure, we have this one. So again, we will be using the formula length times width times height. And then let us substitute. So 8 cm times 12 cm times 5 cm. Then let us multiply 8 times 12. Then times 5, that will give us a volume of 480 cubic centimeters. Another one we have, this is an example of a cube. So that means we will be using the formula V is equals to S times S times S. And then let us substitute. Since the side of the figure is 5 centimeters, therefore all the sides of the figure will be 5 centimeters. Then let us multiply 5 times 5 times 5. That will give us a volume of 125 cubic centimeters. Okay, so another figure we have. This is an example of a cube. So that means we will be using the formula. V is equals to S times S times S. And when we are going to substitute, so each side of the cube is 7 centimeters. So we will be multiplying 7 times 7 times 7. That will give us a volume of 343 cubic centimeters. Then we have the last figure. So this is a rectangular prism, so that means we will be using the formula V is equals to L times W times H. So when we substitute, so length is 15 centimeters, the width is 12 centimeters, and the height is 4 centimeters. Then let us multiply 15 times 12 times 4. That will give us a volume of 720 cubic centimeters. Okay, so let us explore more about the topic 
by answering this problem. A swimming pool has a length of 12 meters, a width of 6 meters, and a height of 10 meters. How much water is needed to fill the swimming pool? Let us answer this by using the Polyus four-step processes. So first, we have understand, know what is asked, and know the given facts. So for what is asked, the amount of water needed to fill the swimming pool. And know the given facts, the length is 12 meters, the width is 6 meters, and the height is 10 meters. Now let's move on to plan. Determine the operation or formula to be used. So the operation that we are going to use is multiplication. And the formula is V is equal to length times width times height. Now for the solution or solve, show the solution using the formula. So again, the formula that we are going to use is V is equal to length times width times height. And then let us substitute the given facts. So the length is 12 meters, the width is 6 meters, and the height is 10 meters. So we will multiply 12 times 6 times 10 to come up with the volume of 720 cubic meters. So let us now check and look back, check and state your final answer. So in the problem, you need 720 cubic meters to fill in the swimming pool. Let us see the example number one. So find the volume of the rectangular prism with a length of 8 cm, width of 6 cm, and height of 7 cm. So the formula that we are going to use is V is equal to length times width times height. And then let us now substitute. So the length is 8 cm times the width which is 6 cm and the height of 7 cm. And then let us uh, multiply. So 8 times 6 times 7. That will give us a volume of 336 cubic centimeters. The volume of the given prism is 336 cubic centimeters. Let us now answer example number 2. The box has a volume of 80 cubic centimeters. Find the height of the box. So this is the illustration. So again, we will be using the formula V is equal to length times width times height. And let us now substitute. So since the in the problem, there is already the volume. So we have 80 cubic centimeters equals 10 centimeters times 4 centimeters. And the missing number is the height. So that means we have to multiply first 10 times 4, and that will give us 80 cubic centimeters equals 40, uh, 40 square centimeter times the height, which is the missing number. Okay, and then let us divide. So 80 cubic centimeter divided by 40 squared centimeter, that is equals to height. So let us now divide. So 80 divided by 40. So that means the height is equal to 2 cm. So the height of the box is 2 cm. Okay, so let us uh, take example number 3. A stock room is 10 meters long, 10 meters wide, and 10 meters high. How many cubic meters of space is in the stock room? So this is a cube. So the formula that we are going to use is 
V is equals to S cube or V is equals to S times S times S. So let us now substitute. So each side of the cube is 10 meters. So that means 10 times 10 times 10. And then let us uh, multiply. So 10 times 10 times 10. So that means the volume of this cube or this stack room is equivalent to 1,000 cubic meters. So there are 1,000 cubic meters of space in the stack room. So let us now take the example number four. Find the measure of a side of a cube with a volume of 729 cubic centimeters. Okay, so since this is a cube, we will be using the formula V is equals to S cube or V is equals to S times S times S. Okay, so since given naman natin as 729 cubic centimeter, which is the volume of the cube, ang hahanapin natin is yung measurement ng side. So, paano natin yung kukunin? So, we have to think of a number na pag i-multiply natin uh, for three consecutive or for three times, ang makukuha natin is 729 cubic centimeter. So, yun ang magiging side ng isang um, a measurement ng isang side ng cube. So, for example, ang sides natin is 9 centimeter. So, when you multiply 9 times 9, is 81. So, times 9, you will get 729, which is the volume of the cube. Okay, so that means the measure of a side of a cube is 9 centimeters. Okay, let's move on to development part, learning task 1. So, form a question using the following statement. So, the volume of a cube with a 9 meters side. Another, the volume of a cube with an 8 inches side. And the side of a cube with a volume of 343 cubic feet. So, for number one, the question would be, what is the volume of a cube with a side of 9 meters? And for number two, the question is, what is the volume of a cube with a side of 8 inches? And number three, what is the measure of the side of the cube with a volume of 343 cubic feet? Let's move on to number four. The side of the cube with a volume of 361 cubic centimeter. And number five, the volume of the rectangular solid with dimensions of three inches times four inches times 7 inches. Now, what will be the question for number 4? So, the question will be, what is the measure of the side of the cube with a volume of 361 cubic centimeter? And for number 5, the question will be, what is the volume of a rectangular solid with dimensions of 3 inches times 4 inches times 7 inches. Okay, so for learning task number 2, A, read each problem, then solve using the formula. For number 1, Alice has a paper weight in the shape of a small box. Its height is 6 cm, length is 5.2 cm, and the width is 4.9 centimeters. What is its volume? And number two, a sand container has a base area of 34 cubic or 34 square centimeter and a height of 12.2 centimeter. What is its volume? Okay, so let us answer number one. So we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. And then let us now substitute the given uh, data. So 5.2 centimeters times 4.9 centimeters times 6 
uh, centimeters. And then, let us multiply 5.2 times 4.9 times 6. So, that will give us a volume of 152.88 cubic centimeters. And for number 2, again, we will be using the formula length times width times height, but the given is uh, the base area of 34 cubic uh, 34 uh, square centimeters. So we will be using the formula V is equals to B times height per base times height. So that will give us, or when we substitute, the base is 34 square centimeter times 12.2 um, centimeters. When we multiply 34 times 12.2, the volume will be 414 cubic centimeters. And for letter B, use any strategy to solve each problem. So for number one, how much space in a room will a cabinet occupy if it is 1.9 meters long, 0 0.61 meters wide, and 2.74 meters high. So we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. And then let us now substitute the given uh, facts or data. So the length is 1.9 meters times the width which is 0 0.61 meters and the height of uh, 2.4 74 uh, meters. So that will give us a volume of 3.17,566 cubic meters. Next, for number two, a box is 3.5 decimeters long and 6 decimeters high. Its volume is 210 decimeters or cubic decimeters. How wide is it? So in this problem, given ang volume at ang um, height and uh, length. So the missing is the wide or the width. So we will be using the formula V is equal to length times width times height. So let us now substitute. So given ang ating volume, which is 210 decimeters, or cubic decimeters, equals 3.5 uh, decimeter times the width, which is the missing, and uh, 6 decimeters as our height. So let us multiply first 3.5 times 6, and that will give us 210 cubic decimeter equals 21 uh, squared centimeter, uh, decimeter times width. Okay, so let us now divide. So 210 cubic uh, decimeters divided by 21 squares, uh, squared decimeter equals the width. So ang magiging sagot doon ay yung width. So let us now divide 210 divided by uh, 21. So, the width is 10 decimeters. Okay, let us move on to number 3 for learning task number 2. A rectangular container is 0.4 meters long, 0.3 meters wide, and 1 meter high. What is its volume in cubic centimeter? So let us use uh, the formula V is equals to length times width times height. And then let us multiply. So we have the volume of uh, 0.12 cubic, uh, cubic meters. But the question is, ang label niya dapat is cubic centimeter. So in cubic. So ang gagawin natin is we have to convert yung cubic meters natin into cubic centimeters. So, ano ang ating gagawin? So, V is equals to yung 0.12 natin, magmove tayo na uh, decimal places papunta sa right. 
Okay, so that will give us uh, 120,000 cubic centimeters. Okay, so that will be the answer. So the volume in cubic centimeter is 120,000 cubic centimeters. Okay, for the engagement learning task number three, solve the following problems. A pit is 7 meters long, 5 meters wide, and 8 meters deep. How many cubic meters of sand will fill the pit? Okay, so in this problem, we will be using the formula V is equal to length times width times height. So let us now uh, substitute the given uh, data. So 7 meters is the uh, length. 5 meters is the width and 8 meters is the height. So let us now multiply 7 times 5 times 8 and that will give us a volume of 280 cubic meters. Okay, let's move on to number 2. A container box measures 50 centimeters on each edge. How much can it hold? Okay, so on given is... Uh, cube, so that means we will be using V is equals to uh, S times S times S. And then, uh, let us now substitute. So the given uh, measurement of each edge is uh, 50 centimeters. So let us now multiply 50 times 50 times 50. And that will give us a volume of uh, 125,000 cubic centimeters. For the simulation, learning task 4, solve the following problems. Number 1, Myla bought a jar shaped like rectangular prism having a length of 120 centimeters and a width of 70 centimeters and a height of 110 centimeters. How much water is needed to fill the jar? So we will be using V is equals to length times width times height as our formula. And then let us now substitute the given data. The length is 130 centimeters times the width which is 70 centimeters and a height of 110 centimeters. So let us now multiply 130 times 70 times 110, then that will give us a volume of 1,000,000 cubic centimeters. And for number two, to relieve her stress from work, Tina would always watch the fishes move around her 90 centimeters wide, 70 centimeters high, and 45 centimeters long aquarium. If the aquarium is filled halfway, though it's high, how much volume of water is in it? So, in this problem, we will be using, again, the formula uh, V is equals to length times V times height. So, let us now uh, substitute the given data. So, 45 centimeters is our length. Uh, the length and 90 centimeter is the width and ang given natin is 70 centimeters high. Pero ang gagamitin na natin is 35 uh, centimeter kasi kalahati lang ng tubig ang ilalagay natin. Okay? Yung height ng aquarium is kalahati lang dapat ang ilalagay. So, Kahatiin na natin yung 70 cm at gagawin natin siyang um, 35. Okay, kasi ang kalahati ng 35, ay, ng 70 is 35. So, when we multiply 45 times 90 times 35, that will give us a volume of 141,750 cubic centimeters. So, the volume of the water is 141,750 cubic centimeters.
So let us now continue learning task number four for third uh, problem. A track has a container with dimensions 9 feet long, 7 feet wide, and 5 feet high is delivering sand for a sand sculpture competition. How many trips will it take for the track to deliver 945 cubic feet of sand? Okay. So in answering this problem, we will find first the volume of the container. And then we will be using the formula V is equals to length times V times height. And then let us now uh, substitute. So 9 feet times 7 feet times 5 feet. Okay, that will give us a volume of the container which is 315 cubic feet. So, paano natin malalaman kung ilang beses babalik yung truck para ma-deliver niya yung 945 cubic feet of sand? Okay, so we will divide the volume of the sand by the volume of the container. Okay, so ang volume ng sand is 945 cubic feet. I-divide natin sa so volume ng container which is 315 cubic feet. So, 945 divided by 315, that will give us a 3. So, that means it takes 3 trips for the truck to deliver 945 cubic feet of sand. For the assessment, solve the following problems. Number one, how many cubic centimeters of cereals are in the box that has 10 centimeters high, 6 centimeters long, and 4.5 centimeters wide? So in answering this problem, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height, and then let us substitute at the given uh, data, 6 centimeters as uh, the length. 4.5 as the width and 10 centimeters ang ating height. So let us now multiply 6 centimeters times 4.5 centimeters and then times 10 centimeters. That will give us a volume of 270 cubic centimeters. So, there are 270 cubic centimeters of cereals in the box. For number two, how many cubic centimeters of quesong puti ice cream does a rectangular container hold if its width is 14 centimeters, the length is 20 centimeters, and the height is 16 centimeters? So again, to solve this problem, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height. And then let us substitute. The length is 20 centimeters times the width, which is 14 centimeters, and the height, which is 16 centimeters. So let us multiply 20 centimeters times 14 centimeters times 16 centimeters, and that will give us a volume of 4,480 cubic centimeters. So that means the volume of quesong puti ice cream in a container is 4,480 cubic centimeters. To continue the assessment, question number or problem number three, how much does a box contain if it measures 24 centimeters long, 22 centimeters high, and 10 centimeters wide? So to answer the problem, we will be using the formula volume is equals to length times width times height. And then let us substitute the given data. So we have 24 as the length, 10 as the width and height is 22. So let us now multiply 24 times 10 and times 22. So that will give us a volume of 5,280 cubic centimeters. So that means that the volume of the box is 5,280 cubic centimeters. 
for question number four, how many cubic centimeters of water are needed to completely fill a rectangular aquarium measuring 4.5 meters long, 3.2 meters wide, and 2.6 meters high? So to answer the problem, we will be using again the formula volume is equal to length times width times height. And then let us substitute. So 4.5 uh, meters as the length, 3.2 meters width, and then height is 2.6 meters. And then to find the volume, let us multiply 4.5 times 3.2 times 2.6. That will give us a volume of 37.44 cubic meters. So that means the volume of water needed to fill a rectangular aquarium is 37.44 cubic meters. Okay, so to continue the, uh, for the fifth uh, problem. Suppose a mouse needs 1,500 cubic centimeters of space to live for an hour. Will your pet mouse be okay for an hour in an airtight box that has 11.4 centimeters wide, 20 centimeters long, and 6.35 centimeters high? Explain your answer. So in this, uh, to answer this problem, we will be using the formula V is equals to length times width times height and then let us now substitute 20 centimeters as the length 11.4 centimeters uh, will be our uh, width and 6.35 centimeters as the height so let us now multiply 20 times 11.4 times 6.35 that will give us a volume of 1447.8 cubic centimeters so that means the mouse will not be okay with this airtight box because for the mouse to live for an hour, you needed a 1,500 cubic centimeter space. And that concludes our topic for this morning about routine and non-routine problems involving volume of a cube and a rectangular prism i hope i hope that you learned something a lot from today's lesson thank you and god bless everyone